This is Game Guardians Genesis uh, Bryce Mondays, the one and only Bryce on Game Guardians Genesis on a Monday. That's me. What am I playing? I'm playing Democracy 3 here. And it's uh, just this game. We have to run a country and stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. I've played it once. I'm not that great at it. But uh, I'm playing it for you guys. It's probably going to be boring. I don't know. I'm going to run a country. Uh, who should my evil enemy be? Uh, the, the Justice Party. That sounds good. Sure. Uh, I don't know what... It, that's some big words. Okay. We're in a country. That's what we do. Okay. So, this is not okay. GDP is very low. Uh, crimes high. Unemployment's medium. Healthcare sucks. Poverty's not bad. And we have pretty decent education. Uh, so, that's what I got to start off with in our beautiful country. So what we want to do here is you're going to get these little uh, points in the corner, which are earned by your uh, ministers or cabinet. And they give you these points, and you can spend these points to uh, adjust sliders based on these uh, circles here. Or uh, you can enact new... Uh, things as well using those points. I'm gonna do uh I kinda wanna start off with something that um you know voters may like but I also have a very big economic issue thanks to my past presidents that I've gotta fig uh, figure out as well so uh probably gonna start off by taxing people. Taxing people's good. None of these are saying they have potential income, which is weird because usually a tax would bring in money. There we go, that one has potential income. The mansion tax has a lot of potential income, possibly. It might make the rich really mad, but uh, that, that could be pretty, pretty good money, pretty good money. 77 billion dollars. Okay, I'm going to implement mansion tax. And I'm just going to boop that up. So the retired, they, they totally hate that decision. The wealthy kind of don't like it as well. But for equality, quality goes up. Socialists love it. Middle income don't like it as much either. But I don't care, because it's about to make me a lot of money. Now wasted all my points. Okay, so I move on to the next turn. And that's pretty much how this game runs. And it brings up the screen. Uh, it has important issues that can be brought up, which is this. And I need to decide. Uh, limit agency activity. These agencies are preying on the weakest and poorest in society. Often trickling them into borrowing money at huge rates that can never be repaid. This is little more than exhaustion and the government should act at once to limit severely the activities of such uh, companies or allow agencies to operate. Nobody forces people to borrow money that they can't repay. And to restrict the rights of debt agencies to recover legitimate debts would be counterproductive. People need to learn to live with their means and not expect the state to bail them out of trouble if they cannot learn to do so. Uh, I don't know, all these agencies, whatever, I don't care. I've only got 16% of the vote right now, but I've got four years to turn that around. Hopefully I do that fast. Here's some charts telling me some stuff. Uh, expenditures income went way up thanks to that thing. Uh, so here we have our income versus expenditure. I'm only down, I'm making, I need 200,000 uh, more dollars than I can be making an income, which isn't bad. As long as I don't screw anything up. So I need to think of things that continue to make me money. All the red is negative, uh, is negative. 
and all the green like this is a uh, positive thing based on uh, whatever you have. So, uh, I need to figure out how to solve these issues. I have a skills shortage, uh, uncompetitive economy, some other stuff that ain't good. Drug addiction, that's, that's not good. Okay. So what am I gonna do to increase money? You guys get to see how slow my brain works. Uh, I don't know. Probably where's ta here's taxes. This is just tax people. That's always a good thing. A tobacco tax. What happens if I increase this? Usage goes down. Everybody begins to hate it. And poverty increases. So, leaving tobacco tax where it is. Uh, no, no, no. Um. Car tax. Corporate tax. Sales tax. Sales tax. Here we go. Okay, you know what? No. I'm going to help out the people. That's what I'm here to do. I don't care about money. Let's think of the long-term effects of situations. What is this? State health services. If I increase health services, unemployment goes down, and a lot of things go up. Even drug addiction goes down. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Help pay for my people's health, because I am a loving president. Parents, parents are not happy because of violence and asthma and drug addiction. And they're gonna stay unhappy. What more can I uh, implement? Nothing probably right now because I don't have anything. Well, I can do this. That costs a lot, but I can make a little profit. Um, junk food tax, that's kind of like, kind of a jerk move. And not many people would like if I did it. So I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> What's this? Free eye tests. That would win people over on my side, but again, I'd be losing billions of dollars. Race Discrimination Act. Prevent citizens from being discriminated against purely on the basis of race. I feel as if this should already be implemented. I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna do that. <laughs> there we go, everybody likes that except the conservatives. There we go, look at me, I'm just amazing at my job. Let's move on to the next. See what people are doing. Ban alcohol adverts. So let's see. This law is crazy. Either you have a ban on a product or you do not. Alcohol is perfectly legal and enjoyed by millions of citizens without ill effect. Banning advertising of a product or on a particular medium is a token gesture for the anti alcohol zealists, let's pronounce that wrong, which does nothing but interfere in the free market or approved ban. It might not stop alcoholism overnight, but a TV ad ban is a step in the right direction. Advertisers have an increasing aggressive in their advertent words. I'm not gonna approve the ban. I think it's, it's like, come on. You either drink or you don't, you know. People know it. Okay, GDP's going up, crime's going down. There we go, things are turning out well. Um, what are other things I can do to increase money. Foreign aid, it's already low. 
but it's... If I lower it even more... Foreign relations are not good. But I can cut... Cut it down in half. And, you know... Okay, I'll do that. It saves me about $8 billion. Middle chunks at a time. Uh, jobs. This is good. Road building. Right, this is... Environmentalists immediately hate me. Unemployment only goes down a little bit, so I don't know if it's worth that. I need increases like, you know, construction jobs? Citizenship tests. International trade. Foreign relations. Oops, they don't like me. CO2 emissions. Oh, that's a whole bunch of stuff. This is... Who cares? Income tax. Increase the tax. Wow, I love the wealthy who don't care, don't care, don't care. Just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Bam, they just, 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 just jump between there. Everybody hates that. But I could be making, wow, if I had 90% income tax. <laughs> oh my god. I could be making so much money. It's not all about money, it's about the people. The people, man. So if it's about the people, I'm gonna find stuff that I can make the money off of. Okay, nothing in economy apparently makes you money. It's the tax. Yeah, here we go. Uh, plastic bag tax. You know, it doesn't earn me much. But, you know, it helps the environment, I'm sure, and it makes me some money. So I'm going to implement it. And I'm going to make it all the way up. There you go, it makes me about one billion, whatever. I mean, it gives me a little bit. Okay, what can I do to increase my skill short? Education sucks, that's what we need to turn around. State schools. It needs to be better than private schools. Because, oh, America. Poverty goes down, unemployment goes down, everything goes up. I'm spending a lot more money, but I'm helping the education system. I should turn around and give American jobs. America. Let's go into the next turn. I mean the next turn. Turn. Not turn. Superhero? Crime and violent crime goes down because somebody is posing as a superhero. I'll take it. Why not? I'm up to 21% of the vote now. Working my way slowly and surely. Uh, security briefing. Oh, here's a screen. Which shows uh, memberships of different groups and their threat to my uh, power. Down here at the guns are violent groups who uh, will attempt to assassinate you. So, gotta watch out and not make people too mad at you. The parents don't like me and the liberals, they're getting a little bit happier. And the trade unionists, right? That's exactly the sounds they made. I'm gonna go to my cabinet. You're only making me 1.8 her turn, Mr. Law and Order Minister, so I'm going to fire you, because I can, I'm a purging it. And I need to find a new Law and Order person. You can give me 4.8 and your Law point hundred. Conservative Trade Unionist. You would hate me though, because I don't do anything that you like. Uh, liberal Parents. Farmer religious. Looks like I'm gonna do farmer religious. I don't know. I don't think they hate me. He's got pretty high. Oh, capitalist and ethnic minority. But he doesn't give me as much. But he's got some decent experience and he's loyal. And Alan Brown's got a job. Transport lady. Eh. I could fire a transport lady. 
So what this does, uh, and I already explained it, so I'm not going to explain it again because I'm stupid. Yeah. I'll leave that how it is, actually. Because I think if you fire people, the trust and stuff goes down. And Okay, what the GDP, what is most negative effect, affecting you? Skill shortage. So I really need to fix the skill shortage. And the uncompetitive traffic congestion. That word, congestion. Road building, fine, I'll increase roads, just a little bit. Spinning a little bit more, but it uh, lowers traffic congestion. And it gets some jobs and it's, it's decent. Okay, well I'm gonna go on to the next turn. I'm gonna uh, vigilante mobs. The situation is now at an end. I've ended all vigilante mobs off the streets. So that's me. I'm the greatest president of all time. Public smoking ban. This is a major step towards cutting the number of people in this country who will die from smoking related illness. It is the duty of the state to pass laws. Or leave the law change. It's not the job of the state to tell people where they live their lives. This is a total overreaction and an attack on civil liberties. It's legal to smoke, so you should be able to do so in public. People must be free to make their own decisions. Um, I'm actually going to ban it in public because, uh, you know, health for everybody, not, you know? I don't know, maybe it's a bad decision. I don't know. I've got to do something. Employment's going down, that's good. Nothing else is really moving. But I have this asthma problem, so you know, I'm helping that out, you know? But more focus on this GDP thing. What more can I fix? Fix, fix, fix. Skill shortage. Uh, immigration. What can we do here? Border controls. Ooh. I lower it. Immigration increases. I think minorities like it more. Tourism. But the patriots, they don't like it at all. Okay, so the Patriots are going to hate me a little bit for it, but I'm going to be lowering it. Allow more people in. We need more people. Sorry for all those people that don't like it. That's formulation. GDP. That big freaking red score. Education. State schools is still going up. Technology. Technology colleges. Uh, again, it increases the money. But uh, technology and education do go up, and state employees do go up, so a little bit more people. I'm gonna do it because I am a man who helps do stuff. I'm not even making words anymore, I'm sorry for anybody watching this video this far. <sighs> technology grants. So if I increase this, religious hate it. Unemployment does go down. GDP does go up just ever so slightly. I think it's worth it. I'm gonna do it. I don't care. Let's move on. I'm actually, if you look at my money, I've actually made progress on helping the the money. Except for now, because my uh, my ratings just went down. My credit rating. So apparently, I'm not doing something right. <laughs> what did I do wrong? <laughs> Thought I was doing well. If you look up here, I'm making more money. Oh, but I'm losing more money than I was. Oh. Okay. Well, you know, some mistakes were made. Some improvements were made as well. I think that's how I'm going to end this video. But don't leave yet because I need your help. I want you guys to decide on a major uh, thing. Uh, I'm trying to think of the word, a major decision. I want you guys to decide in the comments whether I should do it or not. Let me just try to find the major decision that I want. It's t okay, I'm not finding any that I want. Make me money. Jeez. That's all I wanted. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Should I? Enact the uh, luxury goods tax. That's what I want you to say. Yes or no in the comments. If you don't respond, then I'm just going to do it on my own because, you know, whatever. But if you do respond, I'll listen to you no matter what. 
So, luxury good techs, yes or no? See you guys in the next video. See ya.